it's not very often that we get to see Facebook actually breaking break the law. Um, today you're actually going to get to see that. Oh, let me see here. Uh, nothing of value, nothing of importance, blah, blah, blah. Now, as you can see, I can post. What the heck did that just do? I have no idea what that was, but that was weird. I can comment. All right. So that's something to keep in mind. I can post and I can comment here. There's a reason I'm bringing up Joe Biden's page. Now you guys just saw me post and comment. All right, so we know I can do that. Uh, let's see, which what do I want to comment on? Uh, now watch, boom. Unable to post comment, try again. So I can't comment on Joe Biden, a public figure, by the way. Kamala Harris. My comment just blatantly disappears. Okay. So let's go down to something. I didn't realize that was a live video. Um. Can't comment. So I can't comment on her post either. Go to Donald J. Trump. Not even going to troll him. Just going to say nice. Can't comment. The pattern here is I can post a comment, but I can't talk to our own fucking government. Why? Because Facebook has put a block on my account preventing me from doing that. Let's let's look at that while we're here. Uh, where was that? I believe. Um, was it helps? No, it wasn't Help Center. Take me a minute to remember how to get to it. Uh, settings and privacy. No. Uh, uh, give feedback. Check out help and support inbox. That's where it was at. All right. This is on December 19th at 11.09. You're temporarily restricted from creating groups until December 19th at 11.09. Let's look into that. This is what they're doing to all of the independent journalists. I'm not the only one that they're doing this to. I can't appeal it, even though it's there. But notice, there's no information. It, they just randomly restricted my account. Now they've changed it where I can't talk to the government, but I can still post and comment on other things. So, let's go ahead and do an appeal here. Uh... Oh, where I cannot communicate. I didn't. Now, I'm just going to post it. 
it'll never go through. I already know this. Just like I said, it will not go through. I can't appeal it because there's nothing to appeal. You can't appeal something if there's no actual um, problem. Meaning that you haven't done anything that shows up here. So basically, like the other several journalists that I know, my account has been restricted right before the election. And no reason was given. In fact, let's just go ahead and look in here. These are every this is every violation my profile has ever gotten. Got one in two thousand on October seventeenth, two thousand eighteen, got another one on September fourteenth, two thousand nineteen, another one on September fourteenth, two thousand nineteen. Because something I had posted they decided was spam. Now here's the kicker to this. Over a year later, this is still in review. This is over a year later. This is how they're suspending my account. By leaving this in review. It leaves it open. So, I have contacted Facebook multiple times over this. Trying to figure out what it is that got my account uh, restricted, but they won't tell me. And it's really interesting that it's only restricted from talking to political figures. I find that very odd that that's the only thing that's restricted. I just can't talk to our own government. I can't talk to the people that are there to ser uh, that are supposed to be there to serve the general public. The last time I checked, I was a citizen and was entitled to speak to them. So, it's really interesting that I can't interact with them now. In any way, shape, or form. If I try, you guys saw the messages that I get. Comments, un it's unable to post the comment. And that's the only way it's being affected. So, when you hear about Facebook breaking laws and whatnot, this is the kind of crap that they're talking about. Where you're unable to interact with political figures. This is... The only thing I can theorize on this is this is a political move by Facebook. I'm not sure what their agenda is behind this other than they're trying to shut down the journalist. I'm not the only journalist that they've done this to. And I seriously doubt I'm going to be the last. But if we don't put a stop to it now and take a stand against it, I guarantee more and more people are going to get this kind of uh, response from Facebook. So this is just a quick video I wanted to do. I thought it was kind of funny. Not really. I'm actually pretty livid about it. But I would I wanted to post this as kind of a warning to anybody that seems to criticize anybody in the political arena. Facebook has got their back. And this is what Facebook is doing. 